Hi guys, it's Tim and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up custom goals in Google Ads. Now using custom goals can be pretty effective, especially when you wanna combine conversion actions together and use them in your campaigns in order to target for multiple goals, particularly when you're using smart bidding strategies. Now before I walk you through the demo on how to set them up correctly, although they're rarely used, when I have seen them set up, they haven't been set up correctly. So stick around for that tip. I'll show you a bit later what to look out for and avoiding the pitfalls of not having your custom goals set up correctly. So over my screen now, we are in one of my client's Google Ads accounts. So first thing we need to do is that we need to come to the goals area. So we click this. And as we see under the goals summary, we do already have a lot of goals set up in this account, primarily for e-commerce stores, or in this case, Shopify. If you haven't set up any conversion actions in your account, you can set them up by clicking the create conversion action button. And then you have a few different options that you can choose from to set up tracking conversions. You can set up conversions from your website, apps, phone calls, and you can also import a bunch from Google Analytics, for example. And when you do have them set up, you can see they look something like this. Now, although you do have the option to set up account default goals, and when we come over to edit goal, you can see here by clicking this radial, you can use purchases as a default goal within the account. You also may wanna use other conversion action in the account, but not set them up as account default goals. So give you an example of setting up a custom goal conversion in the account. Let's just say for this client, they are a high ticket Shopify store. They sell their products online, anything up to 10 thousand dollars but due to their target audience and the nature of the high ticket items some people like to still make a phone call to double check that they've got that particular item in stock so due to that we have set up an offline conversion tracking for calls so that all can be imported back into the account as well we want a couple of these goals set up so we can target them at the campaign level within the account not the overall account in general. Because of the nature, as I just mentioned, I'm gonna combine their purchase conversion action with their telephone converted lead actions. Coming down here under custom goals, click the drop down. We can come over to the right hand side and we can click custom goal. We can name this custom goal. Call it purchase plus call purchases. And then from here, we have a list of conversion actions we can choose to combine together. And as I mentioned, I'm gonna select these two purchase conversion actions here. One's for the browser and the one is for the server. So I'm making sure I'm capturing everything despite the cookie consents and browser blockers and ad blockers. I'm also going to select the first time call. And we can see here on the right hand side, we have them selected. We click save and then we have it under the custom goals for the purchase plus call purchases we hover over this where it says three conversion actions we can confirm they have been added together and so when this is selected within the campaign it will be optimized for particularly for using smart bidding strategies now how do we use this in a campaign so coming back over to campaigns click the drop down and click campaigns again i'll select a random campaign just to go into the campaign settings on the right hand side here so here under conversion goals we have account default already selected but if we click the drop down we can see we have those two conversion actions as default goals in the account but if you're going to be using a different set of custom goals of conversion actions that have been combined together and we only want to use it at that campaign level we can choose the campaign goal and we can see here there is our custom goal which we can select and you can click save and then from there you can click save again but for now i won't save that in these campaign settings just cancel out of that and that's pretty much how you set them up however they don't always work unless you have the action optimization set up correctly so coming back over to the goals is very important under the action optimizations if you are using smart bidding strategies that have been selected under primary so they'll be used for optimizing for your smart bidding strategies so let's say for example we had these purchase conversion actions set up as primary however we didn't have like the converted leads or the calls set up as primary actions and they would say secondary they would only be set up as observational actions only and as we can see here the bidding strategies will not be optimized for so how do we change that come back to edit goals so once inside editing the goal we can can see here under the first time call which i did add under that custom conversions this one will say happen to be set up as secondary action observe only as i mentioned it will not be optimized for your smart bidding strategies so we need to set that to primary action once you've selected that in the drop down this button show blue like so then you can click save changes now if this is all too much and a bit like hieroglyphics to you in terms of trying to work out your conversion actions and get them set up correctly you can reach out to me in the link in the description below or the first pinned comment i'd love to hear from you and i'll get back to you to see how i could possibly help but with that said that's how you set up custom goals in google Glads within your conversion actions. Thanks for watching and bye for now.